In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the WordPress RSS feed, but not just the feed as a whole for the website, but how to get the feed for individual sections of your site, your categories, your tags, your comments, and how to customize that along the way, and how to use one of the most popular feed readers that I use myself to access these feeds, and then how to create a link so that your visitors can access each feed individually as they want to. And we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe, then hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. Now let's head on the screen capture and learn how to create these customized RSS feeds for individual sections of your site. I'll see you there. What I have done is under posts and then categories, I was created two demo categories, one called sports, one called movies, just by typing in sports here, adding a slug here, clicking on add category, that's all I did. And then I went ahead and did the same thing for movies. And I made two posts that are in those categories and all they look like, if we go to the live site, if we go to forward slash category movies, this is the post I made in the movies category. This is literally the whole thing. And then for sports, made something very similar, but it's even smaller, actually. There's the post. Now, if you add to this URL up here, after the last forward slash, if you add the word feed, if RSS feeds are activated on your site, this will take you to the RSS feed, which looks like this. Now, the reason it looks like a bunch of code, doesn't look very nice, is because I don't have a feed reader installed on Google Chrome. You may have one in your browser, or you may not, but generally what you want to do is copy the URL and put this URL into a feed reader. My favorite feed reader at the moment is called Feedly. If you head over to feedly.com forward slash I forward slash discover, you can import your RSS feed URL to see if it works. So I'm just gonna paste my feed in there for that category. And here it shows sports category. If we click on this, we then see this is what is within that feed. Oops. This is what's within that feed. Now, if we go back and change this to movies, we look up that feed, click on there. This is all that's in that feed. If we look up the feed for the entire site, which is just your domain name forward slash feed, we get the full feed for the site, which actually in this case just includes the uncategorized posts. The posts made in the movies and the sports are not found in this feed. Sometimes they are, sometimes they're not. Depends on your WordPress setup and what's in your functions file and even what your host does. But what you can do to get around this, kind of a hack I guess, is make a new category. I'm just gonna call it all. Make a slug all, add new category. And then I'm gonna add all of my posts to that second category. So we're gonna have two categories. So we're gonna select this check mark to select all the posts. Choose edit from the drop down. click on apply. Go over to categories, click on all then click on update. And now we'll add all of the categories to the all category, as well as, here's our category column right here, as well as keeping them in the original category. So now if we go back to Feedly, and we do our setup we had before, we go to category, all feed. If it's updated right away, which it is apparently, we now have a feed that contains all of the posts. So if you find that your main feed isn't showing all your posts, that's a quick hack you can do to get around that. And now what's very important is that anybody can subscribe to any one of these feeds. And if people know about WordPress, like you do now, you can just go to a website and type in forward slash feed and add category elements and things like that to find the feed you want, but not everybody has that ability. So the best thing to do is to go ahead and add a widget to the side of your site, to the sidebar or to the footer or somewhere that allows people to subscribe to individual feeds. Now we do this by first adding a new plugin. Go to add new, type in PHP execute. The plugin I most commonly use is one by auto. This one here, PHP code widget for adding widgets. Click on install now and then activate. And now what that has done, if we go to appearance and then widgets, we have a new widget right here called PHP code. So if we drag that into our sidebar, we can enter PHP code in here and it'll be executed, which is pretty cool. Now I have this piece of code right here. 
that I also put down below the description. Actually, it'll probably be in a blog post because YouTube descriptions don't allow the greater than, greater than and less than symbols. Either way, you're gonna be able to get this code. And what you'll have to do when you get this code is replace this image right here. Now I have a large RSS image in here. So if we save and go to the website, we see we have these giant images, which is not cool. So I made some new ones. So if you were adding your own image, this is how you do it. You make your image, go to media, click on add new, and then we're gonna drag and drop the RSS file image into here. I call it RSS-small. Click on the edit link. I made this image 14 by 14. I found that was a good size for what I was doing here. I'm just gonna copy this image URL right here, go back to our widget, and paste the image URL right in here. Then click on save. Now go out and refresh this page. Now we have little RSS symbols for each of the categories. And if we click on any of these, we see the RSS feed. Now again, it's the code like this. So if someone has an RSS reader installed in their site, they'll be able to read it as, as they should, as an RSS reader would render that. Or if they're using RSS and looking for RSS, they know what they're doing. So they click on this image, they would get this URL and they'd copy that into their RSS reader. So if they know anything about RSS, they know how to use it. So you don't have to worry about it. All you gotta do is give them the option to subscribe to each one and they can take it from there. So you can set up RSS feeds for individual categories like we did or tags or even comments on your WordPress site. And then you can have people subscribe to each one individually. So that's how we can create RSS feeds for each individual category of your site. Works the same way for tags and comments and for the site as a whole. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe, then hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And next up is clicking one of these videos that appeared on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress and learn even more. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.